Alright, what is going on guys? It's Zone Savage Plex here. Today I'm going to be bringing you a Unity tutorial on how to animate um, a game object when a collider is hit. So basically the first person controller will walk through, or the third person controller, whatever you have, will walk through an invisible trigger and will activate the animation. You can play it once so you can make it keep playing. Basically I'm developing a Unity horror game right now. So I've thrown in this guy over here and we're going to make him animate so he's just standing there then when you get through this door he disappears. So I have all the scripts as well, um, they'll be in the description or you can just copy it off the screen. I uh, wrote them myself so yeah there's no copyright issues or you can put it in your program, don't have a problem with that, just video response I suppose. So the first thing you want to do is create a component and it's going to be a uh, uh, sorry, a game object, and it's going to be a cube or a sphere. Mm. Oh, actually, yeah, we'll make a cube. All right, so make a cube and drag it to. Well, here I'm going to drag it, so I want it to trigger when I walk through. So we're going to make the cube a bit wider. Uh, that'll probably do. And we'll go, we'll drag it down. So this is on the floor. So now the, when the first person controller walks through, it'll trigger it. And walk, move it back a little bit. We'll rotate. Uh, you can use E R, sorry W E R, to switch between the different different rotation scaling tools. Um, I think that will probably do for the trigger. All right. Okay. So first thing you want to do after you've done that is to go get to your script, which is in the description, and drag it over here. Now. I'm going to create a new script and just show you. So you right click and create JavaScript and I'll call trigger statue. Alright, so then we'll double click on trigger statue and the mono develop section will load up. So this is where you put all your code in. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've copied it. Yeah, I have. Um, we'll call the animation um, S-T-A-T-U-E. No. Probably spelled that wrong because I'm a spaz. Uh, Disappear. No, I need something simple, short. I'll remember. Um, penis. Right, we'll call it penis. Uh, then you just want to save that. So now the script has been updated, and this is what you do. So basically, this code will do a var animator. So you declare the animator, like what you're going to be animating, um, in the inspector, and then on trigger enter. So when the when you enter the the cube that this code will be attached to, then the animator, which is what you've declared, like the the game object that you've declared will play the animation called penis. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a pretty simple piece of code. It didn't take me five minutes to write, not even that. Uh, by the way, everything for scripting, I completely recommend you go to Code Academy and or Unity. Like It just shows you basically the basics and you can just go in there and experiment with your own code. It's probably the best way to learn. Um, so we have made the code and it is... Sound trigger, trigger statue, that's the one, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's the one. So then you want to click on your cube, click and drag the script over it. Yep, trigger, trigger statue. Then you want to animate your game object none. So then you, you'll you click the little thingy and you'll assign this guy. So then what we'll do is we'll go into scene. We'll scroll down. Actually, no, it's probably the best way to do it so you can know it. You can just click on him and you'll hi highlight it. So this one's called deformed man. So then we can just look in our scene for D, A, B, C, D. Uh, there we go, deformed man. So this is the guy we're going to be animating. So now the when this is triggered, that any animation attached to this guy called penis will be animated. So now we want to animate it. So you just want to click on top of the character, go into window and animation, and then you'll get the little animation box um, here. Sorry about dragging stuff over. I've got three screens usually, but can't record. So basically now we want to do is click the record button. Um, do it requires an animation component, this will break the prefab, yeah that's fine. And then we'll call this animation penis, because remember we wrote that in the script. Now remember, if you're going to use this script multiple times, remember to make copies of it like I just did there. Because I have other animations that get triggered in this game. So you have to make sure you change the name from penis and save it as a completely new script. Otherwise it'll just overwrite the existing one and the animation will not like work from your other animations you've made, if you know what I mean. Okay, so when this is triggered, we want the character to pretty much disappear instantly. But for an example purpose, I'll just 
I'll just click and move forward, which will actually act activate it. So that's his first movement. And then we're going to do about um, half a second later, we're going to get him to rotate. So we'll just rotate him 360 degrees. There we go. So from this keyframe to this keyframe, he's going to be spinning for 0 0.5 seconds. Okay, so now if we just go play, you'll see that. Oh no, he didn't. Why didn't he do that? Oh yeah, of course. There. My bad. There we go. Now he'll do it. He'll spin for about 0 0.5 seconds. There you go. So every th um, 0 0.5 seconds, he's just going to keep spinning like that until whenever. Now the only problem with this animation is, like I said, like the first keyframe, you can see my mistake there. So if I just unpause this, and let me try something out here. If I just delete that and then click play. Yeah, there you go. That's much better. It's always the first keyframe that's the hardest part to get used to. But now you can see he's just going to keep spinning around and around and around and around. But we don't want him to do that. So we're going to delete both of these and we're going to start or stop playing and we're going to make him disappear when the, when it, the collider's hit so delete you let's move this over here because you guys can't see this you know what we'll just move this over here right okay so that's our first one another one he's going to be doing nothing okay so we're going to make him disappear in 0 0.1 of a second because you want him to disappear like instantly maybe even less so we'll do him there so we're going to activate our move tool going down and we're just going to simply go like that. So he's just going to disappear completely. So you'll play, he'll be there, then he'll just disappear. So that's what will happen. Um, so he will just disappear when the animation is played. And it won't be looping, so it will just do it once. Okay, so then once you've done that, you can just click exit and it will completely exit that. And now you've got the animation here uh, that you've just made and it's called penis. So if you double click on penis, you can change it to loop ping pong blah 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 but I'm just going to do once because we just want it to disappear once permanently um, so yeah now we can click on this we can turn the mesh render off so you can't even see the trigger so once you've done that you want to make sure is trigger is clicked here you also want to make sure that on your character that um, uh, always play automatically is not ticked and now the game will work so if we just do that here and we can actually see our animation so we can get it looking good um, so there's our guy that we want to disappear and the collider's just here so as soon as we see the first person controller which is the capture walk through it you should disappear there you go and he's disappeared so that's him disappear permanently if I walk out the trigger and go back in he shouldn't come back in although up there on here in the scene it did but that won't happen in the actual game so that's actually all there is to it it's not too complicated but if you have any questions please just comment below if you want more uni tutorials just let me know because I am developing my own game right now and uh, the download link will be in the description, but you can see a preview on my channel. It's taken me a little length of time, but I'm pretty confident with Unity now, and the scripting is the easy part, and it's more in the modeling and getting the environments nicely done. That's the harder part. Thank you for watching today, guys. Be sure to subscribe.